Hi everyone. It's been a minute. Yay! I'm back. Uh, I took I took a break. Um, the last video I uploaded was actually my cool toned look um, that I did here in my dorm, which is where I'm at right now. When I am filming this now, it is February 8th. Um, and I am a month into my second semester here in college, which is super exciting and fun. I really love my classes this time around, and I've just wanted to do a little quick update before the actual video. Um, so yeah, I'm in my second semester. I've got whole new classes. I did good on all my exams last semester, which is awesome. Um, I just auditioned for a Shakespeare show here on campus, and I got casted so I've been doing rehearsals for that and we'll be performing that at the end of this month which is super exciting. I got a lot of new makeup for Christmas which is so exciting. I was so happy and I can't wait to play with it on the channel. I took a break because everything got very busy and I was hanging out with my family and friends over the holidays and my winter break but now I am excited to start back doing videos. I did have this idea. I want to do a new series, kind of like a series, where I take photos um, that like actual professional makeup artists do and I want to try and recreate them with the products I have. Sometimes I will have the actual products that they use and sometimes I won't and I'll be trying to do like my best version of it. But I thought that would be kind of cool and challenging for myself because I love makeup so much. Um, and I do like everyday looks, but I feel like trying to replicate an actual makeup artist's look would be so much fun. So that's going to be a little series that I that I start doing now. That was my quick little update for you guys. Thank y'all for all the support that y'all showed for my first three videos. I had so much fun making them, and I cannot wait to make more. Uh, and I hope you guys still enjoy them. I hope you enjoy the video. For today's video, I am going to be using one of the items that I got for Christmas this past year. So exciting. I have been wanting this for so long because I've watched so many YouTubers use this and review this on their channels. It's the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. Um, I'm so excited that I got this for Christmas because obviously it's... She's expensive. Um, but... Um, it was a present from my parents, and I love it so much. For today's video, I am going to be recreating a look from a picture that I found when I was going through my camera roll. It's not of the actual look, but it's something that I screenshot from Natasha Denona's Instagram page, and it, I'm just going to insert the picture here. So that's the picture, and I'm looking at it right here next to me on my computer. Um, and that's what we're going to be recreating today. So we're just going to jump right into it. <laughs> so to start off with, I have already primed my lids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer, and we're just going to hop right into the look now. Based on the picture, we're going to be starting off with this bottom color called Bermuda. And that color is going to be our transition color. So we're going to start off with a fluffy brush. This is from Almar Cosmetics that I got in a BoxyCharm. And we're going to go in with that Bermuda color right in the crease. The funny thing about this look is I don't know how it's supposed to turn out because obviously when I screenshot that picture, I only took a picture of the palette itself and not the look on the model so who knows if this is gonna be like a good recreation I I don't the next color that I'm gonna go in is the crease color and it's called Terra and it's this brown color right here I'm going to take a smaller blending brush. This is the Luxie 207T that I got in a BoxyCharm. And I'm going to dip into that Terra color and place that in my crease, being more specific than I did with the last color. Do you ever, are you ever doing your makeup? 
makeup and you like lift your eyebrows so that you can blend all your eyeshadow and everything and then you start getting a headache because you've been lifting your eyebrows so much i have that right now okay so i put that color in my crease now i'm just going to go back into the blending brush that i used the first time and we're going to go back into this pink color here at the bottom bermuda and i'm just going to blend out edges Okay, so now that I've blended everything out, I'm just going to barely tap back into the terracolor for the crease just to darken it up because it got a lot lighter than I thought it would. Okay, we're going to move on. So the next thing that I think I'm seeing here in this picture is, I guess we're going to do lid now. So the color that we've got for the lid today is Volcano. Which is this color right here a brush from the vintage cosmetic company and it's called step one for the money and it looks like this it's a little packer brush and i'm just going to go into that color volcano i'm going to pack that on the lid to the picture we're going to go on the inner corner with this color up top called bronzage right here so i'm just going to take my finger and i'm just going to press that along the inner corner and we're going to hope that this just brightens the look up a little bit The last thing that I'm gonna do is along my lash line. We're gonna take this bottom color igneous and we're gonna take that along the lash line as according to the picture. I'm taking a sharp little brush like this. This is a Lancome like dual ended brush and I'm going to take this side and we're going to barely pack that dark color along the lash line. So that's it for the lash color. Um, I'm going to do my face makeup and then we're probably gonna come back to the eyes. So, yeah. Let me go wet my beauty sponge. Okay, so um, first off, let me get a quick shout out because this is my favorite gum of all time. I know people think grape tasting things are weird, but I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna get started on my face and we're probably gonna speed through this part, but I do want to quickly tell you just kind of the products that I'm using. So, I was able to buy a brand new Smashbox primerizer, photo finish primerizer. I love this thing. Um, I had completely used an entire bottle, and I just bought this over winter break. So, we're happy about that. Um, for foundation today, I'm going to be using this little sample Tarte um, Amazonian Clay 12-hour foundation. I got in a Nipsey bag. I used to use this a lot when in high school, um, and I'm thinking about rebuying it. So I'm going to use this little sample size today, and if I enjoy it, then we're gonna we're gonna check into that. So yeah, those are the products I'm using. Um, oh, also, I finally actually bought a Tarte Shape Shape. We're just gonna jump right into it, and I'm gonna speed through this whole thing and read you.
so that is my face makeup all done. Um, next, because I look like a crazy ghost right now, we're going to go into bronzer. I have this mini sample size bronzer that I got in the Ipsy bag. It's called Take Home the Bronze Anti-Orange Bronzer from The Balm. And it's in the shade Oliver. Oh, I forgot to mention I set my face with the Pretty Vulgar powder. Okay, so next on the face we're going to move into highlight. And I also have this little sample highlight from I Ciate London and it's called Moon Dust. It came in this little package from an Ipsy bag and so I really like it. It's like a very pinky highlighter which I think is going to go good with this eye look that we've got going today. So I'm going to take my highlighting brush, just like a pink unicorn, and we're just going to highlight. So next I'm going to finish up my eyes, so I'm going to go back into the color that I used on the inner corner of my lid right here. I already forgot the name of it. Bronzage. So I'm going to go back into bronzage and I'm going to pack it more on my inner corners to brighten things up more. Okay, so besides the fact that I put the inner corner color way too far into the inner corner, I think it looks not that bad. Okay, so now we're going to finish off the eyes. I'm going to go into this mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Waterproof Mascara. This was a gift from my friend Lupe, so shout out to her. Okay, so that's it for the eyes. Now I gotta find a lip color that I like. So I'm gonna take my favorite MAC lipstick ever. This is MAC Brave. I wore this um, my sophomore prom and I fell in love with it then. This is my third tube of it, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but to me that is. Um, so we're just gonna wear this today. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, here we go. This is the look that I created from this photo that I had found in my camera roll back in, I don't even know when, it, when I screenshot it. August 26th, 2018 is when I screenshot that photo from Natasha Denona's Instagram page. And I used her palette, the Sunset palette beautiful to recreate this look. I'm happy with how it turned out. I did get the lid color way too far on my inner corner so it does look a little wacky. Um, but overall I think it turned out well and I like it a lot. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I was so excited to film it because I'd taken such a long break since my last video and filming today just really reminded me how much fun I have when I just sit around and play with makeup and film for you guys to watch. So I will be posting pictures of the look at the end of the video, so stick around for that, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!